for today's episode we got a subscriber recommendation for you guys and let's just say that it's gonna be a spicy one guys waiting for the final dish which is amanda's blanket noodles oh man you guys don't want to miss this i think it's the only place on hawaii that has it mm. like the perfect way to beat the heat of Szechuan. Aloha foodie ohana, welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we got a subscriber recommendation for you guys. And let's just say that it's gonna be a spicy one, guys. I don't know if I can handle, but we're gonna try. We love our spicy food. <laughs> now that I'm better, you know the food gets better as well. You guys are in for a treat. And if you guys are new here, I'm Amanda, this is Felix. We're a foodie couple here on Oahu. We're locally born and raised here and we take you guys along on all of our foodie adventures. And today we have a really spicy one, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys like this video. It helps us out a lot. A lot. You guys don't even know, it like messes with the algorithm. Anyway guys, we're starving as usual. I know you guys are starving too, so let's go get our food because we are starving. <laughs> Let's go. You got a call. Oh. I'll do the dandan dan noodles. Yeah, then, uh, what's the spicy label? Uh, From zero to ten. Oh, uh, let's do five. five. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in the middle. Which one would you recommend? Uh, first time here. The first time. Yeah. Well, uh, try the blanket. Yeah, the blanket yeah, sounds good. It. Okay, we'll try that then. Yeah. The blanket. Okay. You said the cucumber salad is good. Cucumber okay. Blanket. We'll try that. So, well, what's the difference with uh, the Chengdu style and then this one? Uh, this is Chongqing. Chongqing. Chongqing, Chongqing yeah. And Sichuan. Sichuan style, like California. Okay. Uh, Chengdu, uh, like, uh, like uh, Los Angeles. Chongqing, like San Francisco. Oh, okay. We're on Kalakawa. Kind of like the beginning of Kalakawa Avenue, near uh, Don Quixote area. You guys it's called been? like Kaheka. Kaheka area. So this place is called uh, Joy, Cup. Joy Cup Noodles Mian. Or Mian. Oh, is it Mian? Yeah. Kind of like the... I forgot what Mian meant, but other places spell it M-I-A-N. Over here smells it, looks like mean, but... So this place is Joy Cup Noodles Mian. They're known for their... Mian. Oh, Mian. Sorry. They're known <laughs> for their... Their Chong Queen style food which is which the lovely owner i think yeah she kind of explained to us that it's a smaller province within the Sichuan area kind of like she kind of referenced it as like Chengdu is the the LA and then Chongqing is the San Francisco, San Francisco kind of thing so it's the same area but different province and when I looked online, they did say that Chongqing is more known for their prominent flavors versus Chengdu's Spice. a little bit more like Chongqing is more robust, more more savory, more flavor versus I guess the Chengdu is a little bit more mild on like the flavor. I'm not sure. Well, Damn, we're gonna try it. If that's mild, oh, this is gonna be nuts. <laughs> no, like mild as in not spicy, but mild as in flavor wise, not as oh. flavorful. Versus Chongqing is supposed to be more flavorful. I'm not sure. We've tried Chengdu style Sichuan noodles at several different places, so this is gonna be a little bit different. And we wanna say a special shout out. Thank you so much to Sophie for tagging us in this place on Instagram. We're here because of you. And yeah. we saw noodles, we saw spicy, <laughs> we had to calm down. You know, for future references, if you guys have places you love as well that we haven't reviewed yet, feel free to leave a comment down below, you know, if it's somewhere we haven't been to. We do really look at, you know, what you guys suggest to us and the tips that you guys give us. So it really helps a lot when we know like the kind of places you guys go and the places you guys want to see. So yeah, definitely let us know in the comments below. And also, we've never been to China and I'm part Chinese, he's Vietnamese, 
So, I mean, maybe the flavors might taste a little bit familiar. The closest we've been is like Taipei, but that was only at the airport. Yeah, we've <laughs> like, only been to the airport. <laughs> that doesn't even count. I guess first thing, ooh, cucumber salad. Yep. Oh, thank okay. you. So first thing came out, guys, is the cucumber salad. And it's one of the side dishes that Lulu did recommend. And I'm guessing it's because she knows the food's gonna be spicy. And this looks like something that'll totally cool you off. Remember how I always mentioned in our previous videos that the daikon radish resets the taste buds, keeps you going? This is equivalent to that, cucumbers. What could be cooler? But that's where the saying comes from, you know, cool as a cucumber. Looks like it has some sesame sauce, peanut sauce, not too sure, sesame seeds, some kind of like liquid on the inside, like a marinade. It's not really thick though, like it just kind of slides off, like sesame oil mixture or something. It looks good, here you go. Cheers. Mmm. It does have a bit of a spice to kick. I taste goma, ginger, garlic. Mm, that cucumber is nice and cool. This is definitely gonna save us later. Very savory. Good way to start off our dish. I do our taste like peanut or something, yeah? But mm. generally, yeah, we enjoy those type of flavors. Almost reminiscent of like that Thai peanut sauce kind of flavoring, but not as nutty. Guys, I feel like I'm just really hungry. <laughs> we don't wanna chow down on our lifesaver just yet. We wanna keep that for emergencies, you know? Mm. Sorry guys, I'm like on call tonight and there was like an emergency situation so I hope everything's okay in the event I might have to dip. And also guys, we didn't talk about the location of this place, like exactly. We did. We well, it's it was, located on Kalakaua Avenue in that blue building. If you ever drive by, it looks literally like a random little tiny strip mall with like other like small businesses. It's a blue building. And if you're heading towards Waikiki, it'll be on your left hand side. If you're from Waikiki visiting, you're heading away, then it's gonna be on your right hand side. For you locals that, you know, frequent around the area, it's right next to that weird name restaurant called Frog House. I'm telling you guys, I, we drive by this place thousands of times and there's that one restaurant that says Frog House. It's so weird, right, that name? But yeah, it's right next to that weird restaurant. Supposedly that restaurant is good too. If you guys ever tried that place, leave a comment down below. Kind of interested. It looks like yeah, Korean fare. I just remember driving by thinking, man, do they serve frog legs here? Because it's a frog house. And fun fact, we've actually tried frog before. Yeah, it literally does taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously. If you're wondering. Oh man, I'm so excited for the noodles. The noodles here, guys, are handmade, fresh, daily. All the owners from Chongqing herself, so and it's actually like quoted on the front of their page, front page of their menu that this is Hawaii's only authentic Chongqing style food. So we're pretty stoked. Oh man, everything smells so good, looks so good already, guys. And I can tell this is gonna be a spice fest. So excited. As mentioned, I was sick. I was out for a while, out of commission, but I'm back, guys. I haven't had anything spicy for the past two weeks or so. Actually, like. Even before that, I don't know, but mm -hmm. I'm ready. And I hope y'all ready too. We ordered this, um, it's kind of a weird name. It's called Couples Lung. Uh, Lulu was saying it's, it's just a name. It's just a, is it cold? Yeah, I think so. It's it like, has like cabbage, uh, might be pickled or I'm not sure. Mm, it's like Peanuts. beef, slices of thinly sliced beef, but it looks amazing guys. Like, yeah. it has some like crunchy boiled peanuts on there and there's spicy sauce. Mmm, oh, wow. chili oil, fresh in my taste. It's mm. like, mm. I think this is just sauteed or maybe steamed cabbage. I don't even know there was cabbage on there. Mm. I just thought it was a heaping plate of beef. Even the peanuts are like nice and toasted. Right away, you get the hit of the chili oil, nice kick of mm. spice. It's almost like a thinly sliced beef salad. The beef is very nicely flavored. It's not like super tender. It's almost like, like a- Like a jerky. Yeah, well, no, it's not like that tough, but like a pastrami type of texture. Mm. You know, like deli cut meat. Yeah, like a roast beef. Yeah, roast beef, deli cut, Szechuan style. Yeah, I think there's some kind of maybe like peanut sauce or sesame sauce. Oh, yeah, it's that same familiar goma sauce underneath yeah. there. And there's like cilantro, green onions, very flavorful. Oh, I like this already. Mm. I could just eat this with a heaping bowl of rice or nice like bowl of shredded cucumbers. I can imagine eating it. The spice is building though. Mm. Mm. Go back to the cucumber. 
Also, we forgot to mention when you order, Lulu does ask you what you want your spice level to be. It's not just, you know, you know, burn your mouth. It's zero to 10 scale. So we got five in between just to gauge it, you know. I think we could have gotten a little more spicy, but like I said, it's my first time eating spicy food in a while. I, just, I didn't even like the peanuts. It's that good. We should try the pot sticker. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know how we feel about our pot stickers. So you can order them steamed, pan fried. Of course, you know, we like our gyozas or pot stickers. We like them lightly pan fried, you know, it adds texture. And that little char taste. Hot sticker. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, it's very saucy. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. This filling mm. just reminds me of like um, the inside filling of like a Chinese monopole. Mm. Vietnamese monopole. Sorry. From a Vietnamese monopole. Have you guys ever had a Vietnamese monopole? That's what the filling kind of tastes like. So it has carrots, ground pork, some cab minced cabbage in there. Sound like you said minced cab meat. <laughs> it minced cabbage in there. I mean. <laughs> But mm. yeah, that sauce is good too. It's not like super spicy where you're gonna regret it, you know what I mean? The pot stickers are really good because also a little bit sweet. I don't know. Yeah, it does it's have sweet. a sweet note at the end. You guys, everything here is made to order and it looks like it's only Lulu and maybe one other person back there. So it's not gonna be fast food. You know, it is made to order. You're guaranteeing, you know, fresh food. The food so far has like been really awesome. I think the pot stickers are really good. A lot of flavor. You know, it's one pet peeve that constitute to a man don't when there's not enough filling, that's strike one. When there's water in there, that's strike two. You know what I mean? When you bite into it, it's just like oozing Unless it's like Shaolin Bao. Oh yeah, unless it's Shaolin Bao, well, that's different. We're talking about Mandu and pot stickers. That means that when they cooked it, there was a hole in it or something, and some of the, the water they used to steam it got inside. Oh, oh that the looks dun good. Dun dun noodles. Oh yeah, yeah. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I really like the, the meat. It's like a beef salad almost, yeah? Yeah, yeah beef salad. Really You're in, oh, uh, Lulu? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, the, the sign, they say, oh, call Lulu. So I was like, oh, maybe that's you. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, this area. Yeah, so guys. Spicy, but I can't stop eating it. As mentioned in our other video, eat follow like a pro. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, I feel like every Asian restaurant, every noodle restaurant is synonymous when it comes to their spices. And you know what place is legit? Like I said, when they have their own homemade spices. This ain't no store bought, guys. It's like grounded up fragrant spices. Like, oh. Smells amazing. I, I cannot wait to put some of this in my dandan dan noodles. It looks like crushed Sichuan peppers with all the spices, more of the sesame seeds. So right now we're just waiting for the final dish, which is Amanda's blanket noodles. Oh man, you guys don't want to miss this. I think it's the only place on Hawaii that has it. Miss Lulu makes it specially. It's one of her specialties. And guys, if you're not aware or familiar with Sichuan style food, Sichuan is kind of like a like a peppercorn, but very nummy. So literally, That's my right. mouth- That's right, she said nummy, not yummy. Yeah, numb. Like, you can't feel your tongue anymore, kind. I can't feel my lips, I can't feel my tongue, but I know the flavor's good. It's like uh, that weekend song, but spices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you. Wow. And uh, the soup base is like, is it the chicken sweet and soup? Oh, chicken broth, oh, okay. All right, guys. Finally got all the B-roll action out of the way. About to enjoy it. So as mentioned, as a pro, you gotta try everything first before you season it. So although I wanna just douse my bowl and Amanda's bowl and everything else with this in-house made Szechuan spice concoction, I'm gonna control myself and try everything first. Oh my God, this is good. That looks rejuvenating and like life granting. The soup, guys, oh my goodness. I tried my noodles, I can't wait. Man, God. Oh my God. This is where it's at. You get that nice numbness from the Sichuan chilies. Oh nice spice flavors. And this is not too spicy, so I'm gonna put quite a bit of the spices in here. As soon as Amanda learns to use the chopstick. Oh, 
It looks like they have like those nice toasted nuts, sesame seeds. Their Dandan Dan noodles here has ground minced pork too, and it's seasoned too. It's not just like mm. seasoned too. Oh, and the noodles, I really appreciate the nice Whoa. texture of the noodles. It's not mush. It's really fresh and bouncy. I like I love al dente noodles. Texture or the consistency is kind of like a thicker udon style kind of noodle. And that sauce in there is very flavorful. You can really taste like all of the different elements in it. Like you can taste like ginger, the garlic, the scallions. You can taste some of the meat. They're and definitely the, right. The chong, I can't say it, chongking. Yeah. Style is very flavorful. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. This is gonna be spicy. And there's like even like some pickled cabbages in there. Oh man, man, you guys, I haven't even tried Amanda's one yet. I just wanna try the soup. It looks so good. This blanket noodle. This is like so Ooh. different. I've never seen this. <laughs> I've never seen this type of noodle before. Where it's like this thing. It's almost like look fun. The soup. Um, she said it was a chicken soup broth, but it kind of has like a oxtail kind of like taste to it. Mm. <laughs> it does? Is there oxtail? It kind of tastes like oxtail. Mm. Oh. Mm. Like, uh -uh. It's chicken. Maybe it's the mushroom? Mm. Very mm. light. Yeah, Very flavorful. Mm. Yeah. She tuck in mushrooms inside. Yeah. You got a nice earthiness from the mushrooms. You had the noodle already? Yeah, I did. I ate the whole thing. It's that good. This thing is my so, noodle. These noodles are so comforting. These blanket noodles. Like, I just want to wrap myself in them. Like if Lulu <laughs> made a big blanket noodle, I'd just sleep in it okay, all my night. Okay, my turn. Oh, you didn't eat it yet? I didn't even get a noodle yet. Oh. He stole my noodle. Oops. <laughs> oh, Yo. I just love noodles. They're very slippery though. Yeah, it's um definitely chop chopstick expert. I, why do I have such a hard time saying that? Mm. Oh my god. It's good, yo. It's really good, guys. Those noodles. When he mentioned Luk Fun, I was like in my head thinking about Luk Fun, but this is way more chewier and like bouncy than Luk Fun. I mean, don't get us wrong, we love Luk Fun, but oh, I'm just saying noodles. like the like the the sheer width of it, you know, like the folds reminds me of that, but it's way more yeah, bouncy and textural. Oh man, the spice is giving me a nice kick right now. Mm, that texture though. Oh. Well oh, that noodle had a lot of spice on it. Oh. Are we gonna pay for it tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do we regret it? Uh-uh. The earthiness of the, the mushrooms really makes this dish too. And the blanket noodles, it's a really great way to get that sauce on there, like the soup. You don't even need a spoon. The noodle literally scoops up it like a blanket. I don't know if we mentioned, but the blanket noodles don't have any meat in it. So good thing we got this meat, the lung couple on the side. When the going gets hot. Cucumber salad. Mmm. It's cooling it down. The only thing is, guys, I am totally not a chopstick expert. It's pretty ingenious that the proteins and stuff, the sides are like chilled because everything else is gonna be spicy and like hot, you know? Oh, this is, this place is literally hidden gem. Very hole in the wall. <clears throat> hole in the wall, totally off the beaten path, but it's really good and the pricing here is really affordable the other places we've been to not gonna name names can be a little bit pricey but man this place is a steal i think everything was at least under 15 dollars like a, no a bowl of soup handmade noodles dandan dan, like that can go for over 15 dollars easily no. this dandan dan is a win-win <laughs> you can't go wrong fresh homemade products small cozy store and a very sweet nice owner you know i mean like you can tell she takes pride in what she does it's like you're coming over her home and she's cooking you up a nice meal from chong kin you know what i mean like she was nice enough to explain all the dishes to us give us little secrets here and there like oh that broth is you know da 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 it's like she just invited us over to try her cooking usually in every video we talk about highlights and talk about everything we like everything is so good i can agree definitely the the only authentic chong kin restaurant in Hawaii. I've never had anything like this anywhere else. I will say though, I kind of do get the difference of uh, Chongqing and Chengdu. Yeah. Yeah, because Chengdu, we have, like I said, we have gone to some restaurants and it is nummy and really good and awesome, but this place has literally, it packs flavor. 
Literally, guys. You know I say it all the time, but literally. Is, is flavor. flavor <laughs> Tongue is like, no. Flavorful without like the the overdoing the numbness, you know? I feel like the Chen Yu style is like too much peppercorn or something. It's not yeah, balanced. Yeah, it's very spicy. This is robust and balanced. And I like, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's just me, but in like Chinese cuisine, in a lot of dishes, they put like that little pickled, like, I don't know, is it radish, cabbage? It's usually in, at the bottom of dishes in the sauce, but that to me, I love that. It's so flavorful. Gives it a little bit of like a kick. Mm, let's trade for a little bit. There's not even anything left. Like this fool literally left me that. First That's of all, I'm it. not a fool. And obviously it's that good if I left you that much. Oh, feeling a little lonely? Get some blanket noodles. Cozy up. Sometimes I overspice my food so man it doesn't eat too much of it. Oh, spicy. <laughs> I know that Felix is usually the one to do this, but it's gonna be me today. This pot sticker, I'm gonna dip this pot sticker into this sauce. Ooh, Tell me I'm good. not a genius. I, I, I will have to agree with you on that one. Oh man, that looks amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I'm trying to give that my don don noodles. The don don noodles <laughs> is more like a soupless base. I mean, there is soup though, but it's more like, I guess, equivalent to soup given. Like the, the the base is a lot thicker. If you guys can see, it's not like thin soup. It's really thick and it's like more of a sauce. Yeah. More saucy than soupy. And uh, Ms. Lulu said they use 21 different spices in this. I'm gonna do a nice cozy blanket noodle in the don don. If you guys are from Chongqi and you're watching this and it makes you cringe, we're sorry, but <laughs> this is our first time and we're just really enjoying everything here, just mixing up everything. Mm. This magic blanket of a noodle just soaks up everything so well. Oh my goodness. I think my two stars here of the day, my surefire orders. And for me, it'll be the beef salad and this blanket noodles. I like the don don too. I mean, the, hey. okay, if you have to choose just two, you can only order two. Definitely the blanket. I don't think I can just choose two. Their menu items are like very simple. They only have like maybe 15 things total on their menu. Really, it's on the wall right there. Oh, you see that? <laughs> That's all they have. Like we mentioned before, a small menu means a dedicated menu. There's black bean in here. Oh. I think if you're in the mood for just robust spiciness and heartiness, go for the don don. If you're feeling under the weather or it's like cold outside. The weather. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you know, it's like sweater weather outside, then the blanket noodles for sure. Definitely mopped house. What was it, clean house? Yeah. Yeah, clean house. Definitely clean house, man. Eat everything. So guys, we do have dessert planned after this, so make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. Oh yeah, because we definitely need something to cool off our taste buds. Yeah. Mm. Can you guys make sure to put in the internet, please? Oh yeah, we have a YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, you have a pen, I can write down our YouTube channel and you can oh, really? check out your oh, okay, okay. Usually like two or three weeks the video come out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's so appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Help my business. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, it gets busy after this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank All right. you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Come back. Oh, we'll definitely be back. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Right guys, so unfortunately the place that we wanted to show you guys asked us not to film. Again, no harm, no foul, we just deleted the footage, but just wanted to be very transparent with you guys and since we are sharing our lives with you, this is part of our lives, this is part of our food experience, so we're gonna tell you. And like always, we don't tell you guys the places that we got kicked out of, just you know, for privacy reasons and you know, we don't want to shame any businesses and stuff like that, but and it's not like we don't want to support these businesses too, even though they didn't want us to film. It's just there there are plenty of you, you know, awesome subscribers that donate to us and, you know, want us to like try different desserts on camera for you. So, you know, like if we can't film it and can't showcase it, we'd rather not waste the opportunity that you guys have been giving us to film the dessert portion. So um yeah but we'll find something because we always do there are many businesses out there that need help and we're on it like not not to sound like oh my god the lighting is horrible y'all yeah the glare the it's not even a glare it's like literally you can only see my chin <laughs> don't don't look at my chin though guys chin 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 just don't look at that chin um, anyway it's just very frustrating to me because honestly we're just trying to do something good and i understand every business has their own reasons for not wanting to be filmed or not wanting to be featured on the internet but like honestly they're like okay this place that we went to they're like all over social media so it it like kind of blew my mind i'm sorry i'm just gonna put it out there if but you pictures are okay though that's weird i, I noticed the pattern it's like because he did ask he was like oh sorry was that a video and we're like oh yeah can uh did, did you not want us to film he's like yeah sorry no video and i just want to know like if you guys know in the comment uh leave a comment down below what's the difference if we share it via video or via still images like what what's the difference there you know and for clarification if a business asks us not to film we do not want to take the film the still images from the film and post it that's just like our own personal decision if they ask us to not film we're just going to delete it period we don't want any any confrontations later on or anything you know lawsuits or whatever so we, we just literally they ask us to delete it we just delete it that's it it is gone we deleted but yeah guys we'll see you in a bit <laughs> we're heading there now yeah i know like we cut off earlier a little bit but um i do want to mention that a lot of our instagram foodie friends out there let us know do you guys get like kicked out too or is it just us youtube foodies because i know y'all take pictures and we take videos but what is the difference let us know in the comments because it's so frustrating when you just want to support local businesses but they don't understand the power of social media anyway second rant done <laughs> so now guys we're somewhere different we're at the mall, all Moana. When all else fails, you can find it here at the world's largest open mall. Oh, let us know down below if you guys want us to do like uh, what we like to eat at all Moana. We've been hesitating to do that video for a while, but yeah, let us know. So the dessert place that we're hitting up now, it's actually from LA, I believe. Fun fact, we actually did go to K-Town and try this place specifically in 2018, I believe. Yeah, that was first before. Time, first yeah. time in LA. Yeah, that was before it, they came here, but yeah, that's what we're gonna get. See? Sony, Sony. Oh. What did you get, milk and Oreo? Yeah. I'll get the matcha ube, just the soft serve in a cup. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Damn. <laughs> this fish. Alright guys, if you haven't known about this place by now, this is Somi Somi. Originally in LA. It finally came down to Hawaii like about two years ago, I think. Two or three years ago. It's uh, this K-Town special soft serve. They're known for their taiyaki fish style soft serve. This is the upside down. It looks like the fish is eating my soft serve. So I'm about <laughs> to eat the fish with the soft serve. And taiyaki is kind of like a Japanese uh, like pancake waffle and it's shaped in a fish. And I just got the regular soft serve. This one is a swirl ube and matcha with Oreo mm. dusting on top. 
sorry guys, I just went ahead and ate already. My stuff is melting. Mm. After all the TikToks and posts and picture taking, like mm. the fish is drooling soft serve. Mm. It's very simple. They have a couple of flavors. Today's flavors is milk, Oreo, ube, matcha. They can also swirl it. I'm surprised you got Fruity Pebbles. Mm, I love Fruity Pebbles. Mm. I thought Yvonne was the only one that liked Fruity Pebbles. Hmm. <laughs> This hot here is so good. It's nice and warm, chewy, lightly crispy on the outside. If you get the taiyaki... You can choose the inside too, yeah. Yeah, you can choose the inside. They have custard filling of the, the fish. Azuki. Nutella, chocolate. azuki yeah. bean chocolate. A pro tip, if you get the taiyaki filling with the filling, make sure you eat it fast because the taiyaki is like baked fresh, you know, so it's like warm. By the time they plop it on your soft serve, it's like already melting. Mm -hmm. You want to eat it right away. And the flavor of your soft serve was Oreo milk, yeah? yeah? Oh, and get it upside down. So normally you can get it right side up. But I find upside down is the least messiest because it's like the fish already ate the soft serve, you know, and you're just eating it all together. Mm. Like the perfect way to beat the heat mm. of Szechuan. And oddly, I thought that ube and matcha together wouldn't be a very good mix. It's really good. Oh, there's unlimited toppings too. Oh, wow. On your soft serve. But it's not like gourmet toppings or anything. It's just like cereal toppings mostly. Yeah, graham cracker, Oreo. I'm gonna bite my fish. Mmm, all right. Mmm. How's the texture of that? I want some soft serve. Mmm. The taiyaki is very, like, mochi. Very, I would say pillowy. It's not very hard and dense. Sometimes taiyaki can be very, like, dense, like a really dense waffle or something. But over here's one is more on the lighter side. It's like a memory foam. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like more in between a mochi waffle or pancake. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Oh, you can even hear that crunch. Earlier, we had nice blanket noodles. Now we have pillowy fish <laughs> put a whole new meaning to comfort food and guys sorry if the lighting in here is really junk but we just had to like film in the car because all of Moana is so crowded and this was literally about to melt so mm. all of Moana is finally returned to hustling and bustling and it's saturday y'all and it's dinner time <laughs> mm. if you guys come to all the Moana after dinner time like right after literally oh. the line for so many so many gets so long because everyone wants dessert after their dinner well we came at a perfect time they were cool with us filming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like today was an awesome, awesome food adventure day. I mean, we got to meet Lulu. Miss Lulu, you're awesome. Shout out to you if you're watching this. I just really love it when restaurant owners and just people in general that are very excited for us to film at their restaurant. For me, it's more like a, it's a reminder of why we're doing this. Like it's a very, it's like a motivating factor, you know, to hear the difference we're making in businesses or, you know, just to see it. Like next time we go back, it's like, bustling and we see fans in there eating like it's just cool you know it's just a positive feeling and we just want to spread that positivity everywhere Chengdu style Szechuan is very chili pepper oily heavier and Chan Kun style is very is very robust in flavor with the similar Szechuan spice Chan King foodie adventure with all the spice and all the nice soft serve adventure this soft serve was just so great it really made this day completely worth it you know i love my desserts but you know we always end on positive notes and also i just want to say that the owner lulu at joy cup noodle mian she was very homely she's kind of like that that chinese auntie that everyone has you know just like very heartwarming very open very kind friendly loves to cook loves to cook loves to like talk to the people and it was really nice that we saw a business that was really hopeful i guess for us like to be there a very pot like they took our being there as like a positive thing and it really honestly made my day made our day made us feel like okay what we're doing does make a difference and we're so happy that we can show you these little local spots that not much people know about and honestly need your help she was very grateful that we even were at her restaurant and you know at the end of the day we just want to support local businesses especially the ones that are in need and she was saying that you know her business has been a little bit slow <laughs> lately so pre-pandemic she said it'll be busy like people would be waiting outside her restaurant you know to be able to eat and now it's like 
she has to lock the door because she takes breaks. It's very sad to know like the effect COVID had on these businesses, even though it's getting better, it still like affected their business. Yeah, and at the end of the day, if we can help them, if they have honestly like good food, good values, and just great friendly hospitality, we want to support them. We will be there for you. We will find you trust us <laughs> we're here to support thank you so much sophie for tagging us in your instagram we're really happy we went down there because without your post we would never have thought to go there and also please let us know if you have a favorite hole in the wall place or i don't know maybe if you don't want us to get the secret out and all but if you do and you want us to support these businesses why not let us know all right guys thank you all so much for joining us on this Szechuan opposite of Chengdu <laughs> Chankin foodie adventure spice nice tour thank you guys so much for coming along with us we had a really great spicy adventure with y'all today and yeah honestly it was honestly really good the food was amazing the hospitality at Joy Cup Mean is it Joy? Joy, Joy Cup, Cup noodle meal yeah. it was really like cute of her like she was like oh you know uh, please take nice picture you know put <laughs> on facebook and i was like no we're youtubers we're gonna make this a video and you know show show everyone how awesome you're cooking and she was so grateful and you know it just it just warms our souls and our heart like yeah it really melted our heart if you're watching lulu your cooking is awesome <laughs> just hearing like you know local businesses out there that really appreciate people like us and appreciate the things that we do it really makes all of the kicking out and everything and all the negative comments it just makes it all melt away so we really want to say thank you so much to all of you guys and and those businesses out there who really want to support us if you guys like hole in the wall hidden gems local favorites give like, this video a thumbs up yeah, give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel because there's gonna be more of it and if there's a secret hidden gem that we don't know about yet or you guys want us to feature or not <laughs> let us know in the comments down below but if you're okay with us putting it out on the internet introducing it to the world then let us know and thanks again so much for coming along we had such a great time and we're so happy we could show you take you guys along on our foodie adventures and we'll see you guys on the next one all right y'all bye guys peace out